had to stay afloat It's not easy Be a person you don't want Can somebody Take me other thing Going to do Going to do Where's a life I Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Windows Themed at the beginning of 2021. Here's a theme to get you started, I guess. So first things first, we want to create is a system restore point. So click start and type in restore. You will see create a restore point. Click on it. First, we need to configure this. So I'm going to click configure button and then I'm going to turn on system protection and I'm going to move this slider to about 10%. You can move it lower if you want. It's up to you. And I'm going to hit OK. After that, I can proceed to create a restore point. I simply put a name for a restore point, something I'm going to remember or recognize, and I click create. I wait a little bit after the restore point has been created. I am pretty much set to go. Now, if I want to undo the changes, I come back here and I click system restore. And then I just follow along. I find my restore point. I click on it and I just follow along with the procedure and I let the computer do the work. As far as the download links go, there is this website called ytpriest.weebly.com. There is a blog section, so check it out. First, I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to go and look for Rain Meter. By typing in Rain Meter, I want to find the website. And I want to download the final version. So that's what I click after there's a pop-up, I click save file and the file has been saved. Now every time I create a certain theme, I always like to create a separate folder where I place all the files I download. So I'm going to create a new folder, name it whatever you desire and I simply drag all the files into that folder. That helps me with organization. Next I'm going to look for Nexus doc from Winstep website. So here is the website, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to scroll down to download a free version of Winstep Nexus. After this file has been downloaded, I can simply open up my folder and I can simply drag the file from the browser download itself into the folder and that just saves time. So there we go, we continue with the organization. After that, I can proceed with installation. I'm going to install RainMeter first by simply using standard settings and following along. Yeah, just clicking next basically and confirming everything. After the program has been installed, I can click finish. The RainMeter program will open up and I simply need to unload all the skins that have been pre-installed by right clicking and I click unload skin on each one of these. Next, I'm going to install Nexus Doc by first extracting the package that I downloaded. Once the folder shows up, I open the folder. There is a file Nexus Setup, which I simply double click and run. And after that, I can just follow along once again with all the steps, accepting everything as you usually have to. And just click Next for the installation pretty much. After the installation has been finished, I can click the finish button and the Nexus dock will run automatically. This dock is very useful because it lets you add programs, whatever, really fast, also change icons really fast. After we have installed all the programs, let's configure and install the skin. I'm gonna open up the main folder, look for RainMeter skins and I'm gonna double click this file and I'm simply going to click install. After the installation of the file has been finished or the skin, it's going to load it up automatically. Let's actually open up RainMeter and actually adjust it right away. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to look for this MM, whatever it is, and I'm going to scroll down and look for Pacific Futurist. And I'm going to click on this any file and unload it. And then I'm going to find Clear Futurist and I'm going to actually load it. If I move these windows out of the way, you're going to see that the uh, skin actually loaded. It's there, but it's uh, yeah just been hidden. 
Now let's proceed with installing the wallpaper. So wallpaper engine folder, I'm gonna open it up. There is a folder in there, I'm gonna right click on it and copy that folder into the wallpaper engine folder where the program basically is installed. I open it up and I open projects, default projects, and that's where I paste the folder. By the way, if I'm going too fast, you can slow down the video or you can actually uh, go back in the video and rewatch it again. However, this time anyways, I open up wallpaper engine and then I'm actually gonna open it up from the tray area and change the wallpaper. It's, it should appear first on the list. It says that it has music, it's called Firewatch 4K. So you click on it and just like it says there is music, so you want to turn down the volume first things first, all the way down and hit OK. After that, as you can see, wallpaper has been installed. Let's go ahead and run Nexus, which is our dock application. And I'm going to show you why I think this is the best dock application that you can use. This is how mine looks like. I'm going to show you all the settings that I have in this program. So let's go ahead and click on content. Here's what I have. You can basically pause the video and look uh, and basically copy my options. I have a attached dock to bottom. It's aligned in the center and I'm gonna actually offset the dock. I'm gonna move this slider to about 35 and hit apply. As you can see, the dock moves right away. And that's pretty much it. Once again, do notice that it's attached to the bottom. We have behavior here. Here's how mine is set up. Now I'm gonna click appearance and how large do you want your icons to be? 40 pixels, again, you can change this if you want to. Also, a reflection is turned all the way down. I'm actually gonna enable it to just show you how the reflection looks like. I think it looks better without reflection. Now let's go ahead and open up each one of these and I'm gonna show you what I have. So dock transparency is at, at about 10%. You can choose higher if you want or lower, it's up to you. Next, icon spacing, I pretty much left it at default. Now here we have something interesting, color settings for the dock itself, but also for the icons separately, you'll see that as well. So if you just choose the black color, nothing changes, but if you actually go ahead and uh, change the color to, I don't know, for example, purplish and hit OK, uh, you'll see that the color of the dock becomes purple, it just becomes tinted with the purple color. So if you want to match this theme of your dock, if you want to match the color to the theme that you have, you can do that. So I'm gonna try to show you how that looks like on the icons as well. Doesn't turn really good every time, but I think you get the picture. However, this is not really necessary since we will download icons separately. Here you can see more settings that I am using. Pretty much everything is as it is. One thing that I did change is actually label settings. So let's go through those. I actually select label font. Now you can choose whatever font you want, but the typeface should be regular and the size should be about 10 pixels. And that's pretty much it. Text effect is emboss. And I'm gonna hover over these icons after applying so you can see how the text looks like. Uh, again, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Next, what I have is effects. Here's what I have here. I changed mouse over effect. You click on it and I choose none. So I don't want any effects. However, you have a bunch of effects. Feel free to choose any one you want. It's up to you. Themes, the main thing I have is taped no space. So this is how that looks like. I think it fits the theme very nicely. Again, you can change this if you want to. And the rest of the settings are pretty much default, but again, do take a look at them if you want to and copy them over. After doing all of that, we can actually go ahead and add icons to the dock. I'm gonna basically drag the icon over any program in the dock and you'll notice how that program basically changes its icon. So that's how easy it is to use this dock to change the icons and to add new applications. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video more about this, but that's why it's the best program, I think. So, of course, for the dock, you're gonna need additional icons. I use this website, Flat Icon, and I just look for the name of the program that I want the icon for. So here's, for example, Firefox. And the good thing about this is I can actually change the pixel size of the icon, since this, these are the icons, we don't need huge pixel size. So I use 64. You can go even lower, you won't even notice the difference. The good thing about this website is if you download a particular icon, you can scroll down and see a bunch of more icons in the same style. So you want to keep the same style going. So here's how that looks like. I have the Firefox icon, I just drag and drop it over the program and the icon gets changed automatically. 
Next thing, let's go back to Rain Meter skins. There is FL HUD skin that we need to install. This is actually a visualizer, which will be invisible at the start until we play some music in the background. I'll show you that. We're gonna adjust it. But for now, let's just install it. Next thing we want to do is actually configure the skin on our desktop so you want to move it so it's actually around the watchtower in the background so it gives it nice aesthetic look also right click on your desktop go view and show desktop icons so you hide them also right click on the taskbar go to taskbar settings and click automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode and you wait a little bit and here you have your look but we're still not done let's adjust the visualizer by actually playing the music and we're actually gonna lower the volume inside the operating system volume control, not in the player itself. So just go over here and lower the volume all the way down. That way the visualizer will still be, it's still visible, but you can adjust it. So here's how we adjust it. Open up the rain meter and look for FL HUD. And you wanna drop, click this arrow to drop down and look for settings. And there you wanna click on settings any and simply load that. So basically the settings window opens up and let's adjust it. First things first, player. I have Winamp, you can choose whatever player you desire. Now let's move over to the visualizer section and here's where we adjust it. So first things first, number of bars. You double click on it and you type in any number. It's a little bit harder to, I don't know, for some reason click on it. But just keep trying and you'll do it. Double click and change the size. I'm gonna choose maybe 50 bars. Uh, so basically I'm trying to make the visualizer smaller in this uh, portion of the video. So I'm gonna go to flip visualizer and I'm actually gonna click yes this will flip it and now once again we can also go to bars width and change that number as well. So about four and you'll see how that looks like and you can also move the visualizer again it's a little difficult at first you need to be precise, but keep trying and you'll be able to move it. Next, we have gap between bars. Uh, I'm also going to choose four. And this is how that looks like. Once again, try to reposition your visualizer so it's it looks more aesthetic and centered. And I'm also going to change the sensitivity to about 20. So it's not so the visualizer is not that big. We are looking for a minimalistic look, but also elegant. So basically, after that, I'm just going to close everything. We can actually increase the volume now if you want to and play the song and yeah just get the feel for the theme itself so in essence we're pretty much done but let me show you how to adjust the dock itself how it works so for example i have winamp application but it's not actually added to the dock itself so what i'm gonna do is first things first i need to download the icon for winamp so i'm gonna use this website called icon icons and look for Winamp and I'm gonna click PNG and it's gonna download the icon automatically. Just like with the programs, I like to keep all the icons in one single folder, so I'm gonna put the Winamp in an icons folder as well. Then I simply click and drag the icon to the dock. In a separate space, I wait for the icons to move and here's how that looks like. The Winamp is added. Next thing, I'm gonna right click on the icon, uh, go to uh, properties for the icon, I'm gonna change the label and also I'm gonna click find item because I want to find the Winamp application which is located in program files folder in local disk C. So that's where I open it up, program files, I look for Winamp and we are actually looking for the application, so winamp.exe. And then I simply click on it and I click open. You'll see that the icon changes once again, it's not a big deal, just click OK and drag the new icon that we downloaded over the Winamp and there we go it gets changed and that's how it easy that's how easy it is to add new programs change icons and all that stuff so yeah that's pretty much it we are done we can actually play the music now minimize Winamp and enjoy our new minimalistic winter desktop for 2021 so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for tuning into this video if you like it please feel free to rate the video comment below and subscribe for more videos like this Yep, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you in future episodes. Priest, signing out. I've been
But I have to stay afloat It's noisy